Hey what's up folks i hope you are enjoying your quarantine time well today in this video i'll be showing you my top 3 picks of magic module in early 2020 so let's dive in well the number 3 pick on this list is audio modification library Well as we know audio mods have their own set of files and Majisk mounts one audio mod once so we cannot use multiple audio mods at once so in order to solve this problem here's where this mod comes in handy it merges and integrates all the audio mods into one file and enables seamless integration download it from Majisk manager flash it and enjoy multiple mods at once Number 2 on this list is Quick Switch. After the launch of Android 9, Google changed the navigation system. Now, if you are on Android 10, your navigation might look like this, and if you are on Android 9, you will have a similar kind of navigation. Now, one is fully gestured and one is pill based. Now, most of your favorite launchers available on Play Store are not yet integrated with this gesture based navigation so here's where quick switch comes quick switch integrates uh, the gesture navigation with your desired launcher well most of the launchers are yet not supported as this is made by the famous launcher team called launcher so download it from magisk manager flash it and flashing might take few seconds and once it's done reboot Now once your device reboots go to your app drawer and you should see a app called quick switch now it will ask for root permissions please grant the root permission currently i don't have any launcher installed so i'll be installing my favorite launcher called launcher as it performs very well and have a great customization option as you can see i have installed it now let's head back to quick switch app in the quick switch app As you can see it recognized a newly installed launcher press on it it will ask for confirmation press on okay and it will start applying configuration module you don't need to reboot manually as this will be done automatically after reboot you can see launcher is my default launcher and the integration with gestures is perfect well the number 1 on this list is app systemizer Well app systemizer is a module that converts user app into system apps as the process sounds fairly easy it's not so make sure that you follow this video very carefully all right download the module from majisk itself go to module section and press on tab but before flashing wait head to google play store and search for an app called busybox so what is busybox well this is to check whether you have busybox installed Busybox is a major component for routing and many other things. Now once Busybox is installed, open the app and it will ask for root permission. Grant it and close the dialog that will appear. Now the second line will say whether you have it installed or not. For me, it's installed. You need to install only if it says it is not available in your system. Now head back to Majisk and it's time that we flash app systemizer. flashing will be done within seconds and once it's done reboot now after rebooting you won't see any standalone app for app systemizer so we need to access it via a terminal so go to play store and search for an app called terminal emulator for android download it and open it grant all the permission and you might bump into an message saying it's built for earlier version ignore it Now follow this process very carefully. Type su in the command and press enter, and it will ask for root permission. Grant it, and now it's time you type systemize. Systemize will activate the module, and if you bump into an error saying that busybox is not installed, well, don't worry, install it. Now, I suggest and recommend you to please choose option one. it will be easier for you to recognize all the apps now loading apps will take quite a time it depends on the amount of app you have installed as you can see i have 54 installed user apps 
now here i will be converting youtube vanished as a system apps for better integration with google apps now as you can see my youtube vanished is listed number 54 so i will choose number 54 you can also systemize multiple apps with just one command now as you can see 54 is youtube vanished press enter and i recommend you to choose option one install it or systemize it in system app now systemizing won't take long it will be done within second now it's time that we end this process so press y and press enter now exit systemizer and close all the emulator tabs now i'm really sorry for this keyboard now this will take effect only if you reboot and without it it won't now as we all know that system apps cannot be uninstalled in traditional way like going to settings finding the app and uninstalling it you need root access and adb access to uninstall it as you can see there's no option for uninstalling it well this is now a system app well this is how it works and let me know in the comment below that if you want my top three picks of my favorite root apps in 2020 well here's a quick peek at my top three magisk modules well that's it for this video please like it press the subscribe button and notification bell